responders face a number of different dangers each and every day, and standing along the side of the road to help crash victims is arguably one of the most dangerous tasks. Michigan law says you need to slow down and, if possible, move over to the other lane. 24 Hour News 8's Joe LaFergie here with what might happen if you violate that law new at 6. Joe. Well, Brian, you said it. If you've ever been stranded on the side of the highway, you were probably at least somewhat protected by staying in your car. But first responders don't have that kind of protection. When Grand Rapids firefighters from the Franklin Street Station roll up on a call, they may find themselves on the side of the highway. Franklin's crews are often among the first to respond to crashes on the S-curve. They're usually accompanied by the department's innovative dump truck turned highway blocking unit. Still, more often than not, firefighters are wishing they had eyes in the back of their heads. They'll see people cut in way late, driving way too fast. So I don't know whether they're distracted, you know, possibly on cell phones, or just uh, they should be seeing us. It happens despite Michigan's move over law. The measure sets fines and other penalties for drivers who don't move over when they see the flashing lights of a police car, fire truck, ambulance, or tow truck get caught in its a $500 misdemeanor that could put you in jail for 90 days, violate the law and hit a first responder, and it becomes a felony. Two years in prison and up to $1,000 in fines if the responder is injured. If the responder is killed, the driver could get up to 15 years in prison and a $7,500 fine. Nationally, we lose about 50 to 60 tow trucks operators, a dozen law enforcement officials, and a half a dozen fire personnel on the scene of incidents in the roadway. Grand Rapids Deputy Fire Chief Ron Tennant is also co-chair of the state's Traffic Incident Management Action Team. It's a group, including first responders, working on ways to improve safety in highway emergency situations. It's a very dangerous place out there, and um, for us as workers and our families, we're, we're very worried about that. Tonight on the 7 on 8, we'll look at some of the out-of-the-box ideas local firefighters have developed to make the roads safer for both emergency responders and drivers.